All right, friends and meisters, welcome back to more Danganronpa V3, killing harmony. And man, oh man, things got crazy last time. We got drugged not once, but twice. That's a record. We even had our memories wiped, and then they implanted our memories again. Something weird like that. Anyhow, we were just hanging out with the Ultimates. We were hanging out with Best Boy Ryoma last time, and we're just going to go find out what's going on with the other Ultimates here. Now, I still have no clue what's going on with this gate in the middle. I'm assuming it'll probably open up as we progress the story. And man, I just love the running in this. He moves so quick. It's great. Oh, hi. Hey. Playboy. Oh, hey there. You guys got kidnapped too. But you both look all right. That's good. Situation could be better though. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Hey, let me ask you something. You guys remember how you got here? Um, if you're asking us, then you don't remember either, do you? Actually. Well, duh. Oh, uh, anyways, you're the same too, huh? You don't remember anything, do ya? I guess that means everyone here is the same. Huh? Huh? Everyone? No. I asked the others too. They all said they don't remember. Mm. So the others didn't remember either. You got me. It's like we all have amnesia or something. But... But that's not normal. If everyone here has amnesia... That means... Well, I guess we're all in a pretty abnormal situation then. <laughs> huh? What? That's not true. Wait, amnesia's a stretch. We're probably just confused. I'm pretty sure we'll remember eventually. Uh, well, Kayete, if only you knew about these games, that's not a stretch. No. Or it could be hypnosis, maybe brainwashing. <laughs> in any case, I will remember soon. That's a shame. Otherwise, I'll end up an outcast. <sighs> the, the outcast? What do you mean? How should I put this? Uh, to tell you the truth, how I got here isn't the only thing I don't remember. I also forgot my own talent. What? You got me. Oh, I'm in trouble. I know it must have been some kind of ultimate, but I just don't remember. Um, is that true? Yeah. Of course it is. But then again, I don't blame you for not believing me. Oh. Oh. I never told you my name, did I? Not like I already told you. God damn it, he did already tell us. But then I forgot, did I? No. No, you haven't told me your name yet. My name is Rantaro Omami. I can't remember my ultimate talent at the moment. But I promise, I'm not a bad guy. Nice to meet you. I hope that's true. Just saying that makes me more suspicious, Rantaro. The fact that you don't remember your talent, uh, I don't know how to feel about that. For someone who can't remember his talent, he sure doesn't seem too shaken up about it. Actually, Is it weird that I'm not really bothered by the fact that I don't remember my talent? Oh, and he's a mind reader too. Huh? What? I'm looking forward to it. No, I'm actually kind of looking forward to finding out. I wonder what ultimate I am. <laughs> Anyways, it'd be nice if we could get along. We aren't going anywhere for a while, anyways. Jeez. Stop that! We'll escape soon! She's just so pouty, like, stop! You really think it's gonna be that easy? Huh? huh? What do you mean? No. Nothing, just a feeling. <laughs> oh, anyways, don't worry about it, alright? Uh, that makes me worry more. Thought he'd be a pretty chill guy to talk to, but... I have no idea what's going through his head right now. I swear. His ultimate talent better be the ultimate alphabetizer. I've been waiting for one of those forever. Seriously though, he gives me like straight up Hajime vibes and the voice actor doesn't help, I think? That, that sounds like a cross between Nagito and Hajime. Not sure which voice actor he actually is. That escapes me at the moment. Ooh, what's this door? A school store and it's locked. Yep, yeah, I should expect that. The game hasn't given us a tutorial about the school store yet. I guess it's not gonna open. Right. Yeah, no, oh, yeah, let's look elsewhere. You're right. Go to the Wild House first. Maybe we'll find that ultimate al or ultimate alphabetizer I've been looking for. Oh, no, we'll, we'll just find Mew. Is this a warehouse? It's pretty big. Yeah, it, it is actually pretty big. You're right. Sorry, of a large... Yeah, a, a large company's warehouse, I'd say. For sure. Anyways. Damn it! Damn it! Where the hell is this? Oh look, it's bottom tier waifu, the untreatable disease. I saw a conspicuous girl, or conspicuous girl, rummaging through a shelf filled with different chemicals. Hey, hey what are you looking for? 
Don't sneak up on me, bitch. I literally just met you and you've already called me a bitch. Oh, I'm triggered. Hey. Hey, I I'm sorry we surprised you, but you shouldn't talk to Kaede like. Hey. Hey, crotch rot. You staring at my tits. Shaky, shaky. Huh? What? <laughs> Helping yourself, big guy. A guy like you can only dream of landing a big, busted beauty like me. Come on, get yourself a good eyeful. Shaky, 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 shaky. Uh, um, no. I wasn't staring. My eyes just happened to look there. You mother Oh, my eyes just happened to look there. Oh, my hand just happened to grope there. Ha! Fucking virgin! <laughs> I can definitely identify pervs on sight. You're definitely a frickin' perv. That's why you wear that hat, right? To hide those skeevy eyes of yours. And that's why you wear those pants, right? To hide your nasty crotch. No, why everybody wears pants? Unless you'd rather us not. Um. Everyone wears pants, though. Oh, thank you, Kayete. Someone <laughs> speaking sense. <laughs> Everyone knows that only pervs wear hats. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, no. That face, like, oh, shit, she caught me. She knows I'm a bird. Stop it. Damn. Leave me alone. I can wear a hat if I want to. <laughs> What the hell are you getting pissed off at me for? To tell the world you're sorry. You startle me into losing motivation. That will be a loss felt across the whole world. Hey. Hey, your vulgar language is uncalled for. Just who are you anyways? Huh? S seriously? You don't know who I am? I'm the gorgeous girl genius whose good looks and golden brain will go down in history. I'm the one, the only, the legendary, ultimate inventor herself, Mewie Ruma! AKA the untreatable disease. Um, I've never heard of you. Um, so, what kind of things do you invent? Hmm. I make all kinds of gadgets. Ones that let you type while you sleep, I read while you sleep, and even ones that let you eat while you sleep. Uh, but what does everything involve sleeping? Sure. I was inspired after I realized how much time people waste on sleep. <laughs> really? A lot of people I know only like sleep like four to eight hours. It's not that much time wasted, come on. Though, so, this one time I invented these really stupid eye drop contact lenses as a gag. Huh? Wait, really? That's your invention? So my friends wear them. <laughs> ah, your friends are total plebs. That invention was nothing. Just something to amuse the idiots. It doesn't ma make you more productive while you sleep, so it was a failure, just like you two. Oh, thanks. I signed the patent rights over to some company and never looked back at that schlock. That seems like a waste. It's way better than your do-stuff-all sleep conventions. Um... By the way, what were you looking for earlier? You sounded pretty desperate to find what it. What was that? Huh? Are you a dumbass? In a situation like this, I gotta find some meds. Huh? Medicine? Are, are you okay? Are you feeling sick? Fucking moron! No, idiot. I need strong meds because I want to trip my fucking balls off. Ah! I just want to, ah, just want to set my mind free and forget about all this, uh, this city situation. Ah, oh, oh gosh. I'm done. W wait, what? You can't use drugs to get high. You definitely shouldn't do that. Please, ah, please stop it. What the hell? My genius can't be constrained with the wisdom of the masses. Besides, this place probably doesn't even have the shit I need to get loosey goosey. Please, so, so, are we cool? Are you done being mad at me? Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> she's like a big kid. As soon as she's confronted about the way she's acting, she just breaks down. There's a fine line between genius and insanity, but she's definitely beyond insane. Huh. I don't think she's insane, you know? Just a little cray cray. What's up, Suichi? He's been quiet ever since Mew mentioned his hat. Does he not like to talk? Oh, no. He's not a perv. It's male power baldness. That's all it could be. Is that why you're mad, buddy? Oh, I'm sorry. I won't bring up your trigger word about your hat. I won't diss it. It's like, you know, um, I think his name was Joe Suke. Whenever you dissed his hair, he'd freak out and beat the crap out of you. Anyways, let's leave. Now, the next place to go is the cafeteria. The demo contained the character I hate the most in the game. We'll see if she's there. Is this a dining hall? A dining hall definitely makes this place feel more like a school. 
And this place is called the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. I doubt it's anything like a typical school. I will say, Mew, Mew is growing on me. Oh, hello, you degenerate female. Ah! I'm yelling so I can build up my spirit energy. Is that a thing? Like, I, I guess I would hype you up, but I don't know about the spirit energy. Don't you know you can unlock your brain's full potential by yelling to build up spirit energy? Hiya! That's... I heard that pro athletes do that. It's supposed to help you focus. I must be prepared for combat at all times, just in case someone tries to attack me. I will protect myself with Neo Aikido. Yeah. Huh? Aikido, then you're... Oh, yes! I'm Tango Chabashira. Yeah. The ultimate Aikido master. I see. Some might also know her as the ultimate crazy face. Oh, I always imagined Aikido masters to be huge burly guys, but you're so cute. <sighs> cute? Oh, stop it! I'm, I'm not cute. My face crinkled when I suck down a shake, and when I wipe my face, my eyelids turn inside out. Ugh. Mm. Yeah, I remember that, too. That 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 is weird. Um, I see, but I think you're cute, right, Suichi? Okay. All right. Huh? Ah, there's the bad face. Ultimate bad face, Tenko. Oh. What's the matter? Your face looks really intense now. Yeah, yeah that, that would be a word to describe it. Hmm. I don't like to be praised by degenerate males. De degenerate males? You mean men? Are, are you uncomfortable around them? Yes. It's a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable. If any degenerate tries to touch me, my well, reflex is to grab them and throw them across the room. You're right. That is a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable around men. Hey. Ah, by the way, what is this Neo Aikido you mentioned? Right. Neo Aikido is a form of Aikido that my master and I completely made up ourselves. So your Aikido is all self-taught. No, well, some of the best fighting techniques are self-taught. Or based on other ones. Oh, gosh, I, s I still dislike Tenko. There's probably a reason why she hates men. I'd imagine it's something to do with her master and or some other experience she had in life. But that's something you will probably learn when we hang out with her. Or we will. Now it's time for best girl. Oh, but it's between her and Maki. Anyways, Mia. So are we stuck here? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Uh, but don't be scared. I'm sure we'll find a way out of this in a jiffy. No. I'm not scared. It's just a pain, yeah. Something like this won't make me panic, cause I'm a mage. Huh? A, a mage? Hmm. Hmm, that's right. I haven't told you guys yet. Prepare to be a maze. Fall to your knees. I am Himiko Yumeto. The ultimate maid. Ooh, ah. <laughs> Silence. Magic exists. I thought it was fake. But I'm officially called the ultimate magician. I see. I remember this from the demo. Oh, sir, you're a magician. You should have said that from the start. Mm. I mean, it makes sense, though, since magic doesn't exist. Uh, magic does exist. Huh? Huh? I... Because I'm a mage. Um... You're a magician, right? No. Only on paper. Okay. I'm known as a magician, but that is simply a ruse. I'm actually a mage. Huh? It's just a ruse. Uh... You guys might not know them, but there's a group called the Magic Castle. Also known as the Hall of Magicians, where the world's magic lovers gather. I... I was the youngest person to ever win their Magician of the Year award. I see. That's pretty cool, actually. Get out. But it's all a ruse. Why, you... They keep my magic a secret by disguising it as tricks. Because of this ruse, I became famous all over the world for forming tricks. But... I'm not a magician. I'm a mage. Nobody believes me. Um... They're, they're, they're there. Don't be sad. Hey! Well, could you show us your magic? Then we would believe you. That's right! Oh, that's right! Help us out with your magic! Come on, take us back to where we originally... Uh... No. Magic isn't all-powerful. 
I can only do so much. Hmm. I see, then what can you do? You're right. I can choose cards. The card you picked, pull out coins and release doves. Yeah. I get serious, I can even saw someone in half. They're just ordinary magic tricks. Where are the explosions? Come on, walk the path of explosions with me, Himako. Bakuletsu, bakuletsu, la la la. I'll see myself out. Himiko's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry guys, I'll just, I'll see myself out, bye. Anyhow, where are we going now? We explored all the way over here. We went for those bathrooms. This place open up yet? Yeah, it did. Yes. Yes. That's what I was hoping for. Oh, we couldn't go in here before, right? Looks like the iron gate's open now. Or great. Did someone open it for us? Let's check it out. Uh, oh, this is the entrance hall. Right, Suichi? This must be the entrance hall, don't you think? Uh. Okay. Yeah, I suppose so. Hey. Which means... Oh, can we get out? Mm-hmm. That door must be the entrance. If we walk through, we can escape this place, right? No. Wait, I don't think we should open doors carelessly. It could be a trap. Do not work. Worrying about that isn't necessary. I've already examined the doors. Uh. Ah! Yes. You wonder, who is this? Yes, I shall make that clear first. My name is Korekio Shinguji. I am called the Ultimate Anthropologist. Korekio. Oh, damn, that sounds like Mama's boy. Is that Mama's boy? Teru Teru himself? Oh, I like the way he sounds. Korekio, Anthropologist? Oh. Please call me Kyo. As for Anthropology. Would you like a simple explanation? I see. Okay, sure. Anthropology Shoot. Is... Anthropology studies customs, legends, folktales, songs, and so much more. There may be even customs in your daily life, the origins of which you do not know. Let's see. For example, certain aspects of birthday or New Year's celebration. Anthropology sheds lights on traditions and customs such as these through rigorous analysis. There's a study that examines the thought behind the culture, faith, and customs. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, I sort of get it. Not really, but it sounds like fun, though. That's correct. <laughs> At least Kayate's honest. Well, of course it is fun. It is a study focused on humanity. Beautiful. Oh, I believe that human human beings are creatures possess infinite beauty. Oh. Um, I find all aspects of humanity. Even the ugly parts to be beautiful. Our present situation is rather intriguing. What beauty will I be able to witness here? Humanity is beautiful. <laughs> yeah. oh, I don't know how to do that laugh. Like, I can't even. I almost lost it there and died myself. <laughs> People are wonderful. Oh. This guy looks like a creep and it turns out he has one too. Yeah, you, you couldn't tell by the zipper on his face. Anyways, we can go outside if we just go through these doors, right? So, you should find the answer to such questions on your own. The moment your hopes are shattered, that too may be beautiful. Sh sh shattered? What does he mean by that? Uh-oh, that's foreshadowing that I don't like. I hope you're high, but I don't know if that's a good idea in this game. Anyways, I don't see anyone else to talk to, so out we go. The demo originally had the dormitory connected to this door. Then let's go! Uh, okay. Okay. Determined as I was, I couldn't muster the courage to take that first step forward. To be honest, I was scared because what if just... That's wrong! But Jesus isn't like me. Like I keep saying, we have to have love, hope, and luck. Aww. And hope. Hope is the biggest thing. Just because I'm scared doesn't mean I'm going to run away. I gotta move forward. Are you okay? The Kayete. Of course. Don't worry about it. Let's go, Suichi. Well, that's all we can do. Let's psych ourselves up. I psych myself up, and with newfound strength, walk boldly towards the doors. Upon opening the doors, we were immediately greeted by... Blue skies. Bright sunlight. Did we really get out? Gentle wind. And... Oh! <laughs> a, a cage? 
A wall? Despair. I thought it would be something decent, but no, 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 no. That, that makes it all the worse. Let's tease him with actual outside and put him in a giant goddamn cage with walls. That's horrible. My, 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 yeah, no, no, my hopes have been shattered. Both words were accurate. What stood before us was both a cage and a wall. Either way, the enormous wall struck a terrifying chord. The mere sight of it, impo its imposing presence, was enough to send waves of panic through me. No matter where I looked, ahead, behind, above, or all around, the cage surrounding this entire school. We were like rats in a cage. What is this? We're trapped? What's going on? Despair, Kayete. Despair. Overwhelming despair. Oh god, it's the dad bears again. I, I just realized how tiny these things were. Someone pointed that out, but they are freaking small. I guess they are cubs, though. Surprising with the cage, huh? Totally understand how you feel. First time I saw it, my teeth and fingernails fell out. Wait, do, do you even have any of those? That's not a healthy way to react to a surprise. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. But it's so awesome and like, huge. I can see why it's called the end wall. Huh? An end wall? That's right. Normally, walls are erected to separate two places, right? But that wall is different. It represents the end of the world. Hey. What are you talking about? Hmm? What? Where? What are we talking about? Yeah. Ah. Is someone talking? I was talking. <laughs> oh, bro! Yay! <laughs> Yay! Oh, Stop laughing and explain yourselves. There's nothing to explain. This is simply how it is, so please don't bother. You can't get out of here. The walls have no entrances or exits. They cannot be climbed or demolished. Well, actually... An ultimate make a problem climb our way. Most of the time, it's impossible. But they can still sort of climb it, huh? I took a deep breath and shouted at the wall as loud as I could. Somebody! Help us! There's crazy cubs! Please, help us! Someone! Anyone! Please, help us! We're trapped inside this huge cage! I don't think that's gonna work. You're scaring all the cubs. I shouted as loud as I could, but for all my shouting, there was no response. Yeah, you know what? I'm sure if there was a cage this large encasing a section of land, somebody would have noticed it by now. Right now <sighs> <sighs> stop it! Please stop it! You'll hurt your throat! That's right! Yeah, yeah! Scream all you like! No one can hear you anyways! Huh? No one can hear us? Hey! What do you mean? What do you mean no one can hear us? Beep! Wait! Say something! Beep! Hey! One of you, just answer! Damn Boop! It. Damn it! Hmm. Rotten Dam is ignoring them ex uh, excellently because he refuses to open his heart. <laughs> you can find my volume, my fearsome volume, for that can that happen. Oh, now, now, let's all get along! Dumbass! Shut up! We're the model cubs. We need to be tough and what's not. What is this? These things, this school. What is all of this? So, what? You bastards, I'll have to use your legs, hands, and eyes to find that out for yourself. Actually, please watch your step while you explore. The school is still under construction. Huh? Under construction? I looked around. Oh, so it is. It was true. Some areas did seem as if they were still under construction. Hmm. Maybe that's why this place is all overgrown and vegetated. It looks like they're still building some of the facilities here. Um. Are they still in the middle of building the school? No, that can't be right, Kayate. Look how old the rest of it is. No. I don't think so. It seems more like they're renovating an abandoned school. Oh, wow, that makes sense why there's so much vegetation and stuff then. Mm. Either way, the construction will finish soon once we get the Exiles on Idle Pilot. Exiles? Hell yeah! What part of a biker gang? The Exiles now work construction for the wives and kids! Yeah! You robots really need that kind of backstory? Um. Their stealing wheels are leopard print, and their dashboards are aligned with arcade prizes. You stupid! Seriously, knock it off, you guys. They sound like douchebags with backstories like those. So long, farewell! 
Yeah, you dab away, please. Get out of my sight. You creepy, creepy bears. And there they go again, but more importantly. Why doesn't one of them have chest hair? That, that's a question I never asked. Like, what the hell? I guess it's supposed to be, he's supposed to be some classic rock star. Anyways, is what they said really true? We can't escape. We can't get over that wall. And no one's coming to rescue us. And every time I see Mono Kid now, I, all I can think is, X gonna give it to you. X gonna give it to you. I swear, if there's any other music references or anything like that, I'm, I'm probably gonna miss them, but I got that oh, one. Geez. If I give up now, then what? I slapped both my cheeks, and as my face grew warm, I could feel my determination returning. I've done that. Hey. When you're having a bad day, you just splash some water in your face, slap your cheeks, dry it off, and get going. Hey, Suichi, let's go see if we can find a way out. I slapped him upside the head. <laughs> Ow! Just to remind him to get his attention. Hey, listen to me. Ow! Ow! You know? Suichi, I'm not great at motivating others, but we can't give up just because of a wall. We came in somewhere. There has to be an exit. Yeah, that's right. We may not be able to escape now, but we'll do it eventually, somehow. Yeah. Everyone just has to cooperate. If we all want to get out of here. Yeah. That's right. It's too early to give up. It's too early. We still have hope. You can still see that glimmering light long off in the distance. What's over here? I'm always looking for those shinies. Forever looking. Dining hall. Oh, okay. It's like a little shortcut. You can go up and around to the dining hall. Seriously, though, I love being able to run this fast. Zoom, zoom, zoom. You gotta go fast. You gotta go faster, faster, faster. Jeez. Jeez. How do they even make this big ass wall? Seriously, I just don't get it. Hey. I wonder what will happen now if we can't escape then. Hey. What? Are you complaining? Huh? huh? Listen up. Quit complaining and grumbling, or it'll turn into a habit. Yeah. Besides, this case is nothing compared to the vastness of the universe. Um, huh? The universe? Got it. Oops. I haven't introduced myself yet. My bad. I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Even crying children adore the ultimate astronaut. <laughs> How about it? I'm an astronaut. Isn't that cool? Mm, yeah, I've never been to space, so I don't know much about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. Not just anyone can get up there. I may be an astronaut, but I'm actually still in training. I see. Oh, I see. So you're still trainee. No. And I'm the first teenager to ever pass the exam. I mean, normally you need a college degree to even take the exam. Huh? Ah, and how did you take the exam? So... I had a friend who was pretty crafty, so I had him forge some stuff for me. Oh, That's illegal. I still love how she gets so pissed off about that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I ended up getting caught, and it was in pretty deep shit. The people up top decided they liked me, and let me in anyways. Of course, I aced the exam too. Oh, that, that would do it, yeah. Jeez. That's reckless. Got it. Sometimes you've got to be a little reckless to make your dreams a reality. No way I can wait till after college. I want to get to space as fast as I can. But... You know what? He's 100% right. You can't play it safe your whole life. You sure have a lot of energy. Got it. Yeah, everyone told me it was impossible. But I never gave up, not for a moment. That's because limits don't exist unless you set them yourself. Let's do it! Oh, Kaito, you're so inspirational. There are no walls you can't get over. The same goes for that one. Could it be... I'm not worried about the walls. In the first game, they had some pretty wacky contraptions. Like, they have a... What, a giant vault door that was very obviously unopenable. With mini guns set beside it to shoot people. So do you have any ideas? That's not the problem. Um, no, that is a is the problem. Jesus, guy sure likes to talk a big game. Oh, don't worry, Kaito. I still think you're one of best boys. Everyone else will respectfully disagree with me, but oh, well, that's that's my opinion. Who's now? Oh, it's Quanta. It's gentlemen. Hey, you big beautiful man, I've missed you. Ah, this guy looks scary. He's so big and muscular. Um. Um, excuse me. Huh? Huh? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Huh? Huh, thank you. Sorry. Oh, sorry for scaring. Um. Gonta scary looking. Most people not want to talk to Gonta when meeting for the first time. Cause Gonta gentlemen. So like gentlemen, Gonta say thank you. Thank you for talking to Gonta. Yeah. Um, thank you for being so polite. He looks scary, but he doesn't seem very scary at all. Oh. 
Oh, right. Going to need to make introduction. Um, Gonta's name is Gonta Gokuhara. Gonta's talent is ultimate entomologist. Gonta want to become gentlemen. Becoming true gentlemen, Gonta's goal. Is that who I think it is? I guess he has the hair to sound like... Like, the voice actor sounds like Yasuhiro. hero. He has the long, flowing, giant locks for it, but... Huh. That's an interesting choice. Can't say I hate it, though. Oh, so you're going to... That's a really cute name. Really? Thank you. <sighs> oh, you're actually pretty nice. Silly, for me, silly me for being scared at first. Maybe... Oh, kind of scary looking, huh? Sorry. Oh, sorry, that's not what I... No. No, it's okay. Going to used to it. Going to called scary since he was a kid. Um, since you were a kid, huh? Oh. Kid going to bigger than other kids. The kid's scared of Gonta. So kid going to play alone. That's how Gonta came to like bugs. But when Gonta really focus, it's easy to lose track. One day Gonta go to forest to find bugs. End up lost. I see. It sounds rough. Were they able to find you right away? Mm. Yeah. Took ten years though. Uh, oh. Right. <laughs> ten years. Huh? But we're going to find new family tech co have gone tough. Hmm. I see. I'm I'm glad they were nice people. Um, oh, not people. Wolves. Huh? Uh, wolves? I, I thought it would be gorillas, but okay. But but they're really nice. So the forest family going to learn to speak bug and animal. Going to as thanks going to want to show forest family what great gentleman Gonta is. Um, how is becoming a gentleman going to thank them for that? This place strange, huh? Lots of plants, but no bugs. That is actually really strange. Huh? Wait, really? I suppose it's understandable that there were no animals, but no insects? That's strange. Not even one bug. Like, how the hell? It's a giant open field, and it's just a gate. Or like a cage above us. There has to be more to it than that. I mean, you like bugs too? Amazing! Hey, what's your favorite bug? What you like about them? Uh, um, uh, no, I wasn't saying that I like bugs or anything. Wait! Then you hate bugs! Huh? What? But how? You hate bugs? That's not true. Um, you don't hate bugs. Uh, you love them, right, Suichi? You love, love, love them. Yeah, of course I do. I, I love bugs to the max. Oh, gosh. I, I think I hear, like, howls of a wolf. Or I might have just been me hearing things. That's amazing. Thank goodness! The soundtrack in this game. Oh, okay, that's good. No bad person likes bugs. Tarzan, oh. Hmm. That was scary. Oh, phew, yeah, I, I thought you were gonna die. Honestly, I can't stand bugs either, but it might be best to hide that. Because Gonta won't smash you in the gentlemanly way. He'll smash you into the ground if you don't like bugs. Oh, gosh, hey! There's another thing here. ninja statue? You're right. Hmm. It looks like one, but why is it here? Seriously, there's so many odd things. Yeah, you're right. We saw a ninja statue, and if my mind wasn't playing tricks on me, I found some books embedded into a wall, I think? We have this, too. Is this missing something? The other ones were. Hmm. Well, at least I know if I get strange items that have to do with kitsunes or ninjas, uh, maybe I can put it there. What is this, like a church? The Shrine of Judgment. Oh, of course she's here. That actually makes 100% sense. Yaha! Yaha! How are you? My name is Angie Yonaga. I'm the ultimate artist. Angie Yonaga. Angie Yonaga. Like I said, that sounds like Celeste's voice actor, because I think that's the same voice we heard at the beginning. Pretty cheerful. He's a bit too happy considering the situation we're in right now. Yeah, -ha -ha. yeah -ha -ha. there's no reason to carry bad thoughts with ya. You gotta live every day like it's a bright, cheerful, and fun. Atua says so. So says Atua. Huh? Uh, Atua? I. The god of my island, Atua, is always with me, speaking to me of his divine voice. Oh well, she's certainly devout. Do you specialize in painting or sculpting, then? Uh... Oh, I do both. I paint paintings and I sculpt sculptures. But Atua is the one who makes the art. I merely offer my body as his vassal. So divine! Oh, how divine! 
I see. I see, that's interesting. If you don't mind, can you show me some of your artwork? Of course, of course. Of course, of course. In return, will you make an offering? Um, an offering? Uh... Every Monday and Wednesday mornings on my island, a truck comes to collect offerings. You mean the garbage truck? <laughs> I'm not wrong. That sounds oddly similar to putting out the trash for pickup. But... Don't worry, don't worry. When I say offering, I just meant a pint or two of your blood. Just a teensy bit. Ah, don't worry. I'm sorry. I'm, um, I'm a bit anemic, so I'll pass. <laughs> Kayali, that's a good excuse. I see. What about you, then? Huh? Oh, me? Yep. Boy's blood is an acceptable offering. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. It won't hurt one bit. Uh. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> don't run away. Oh, God, we got another crazy. This girl is so weird. Oh, at least she doesn't go from zero to a hundred like Celestia. Gosh, I don't know what to think about you, Angie. You seem like fun, though. Hmm. This place is much in much better shape than the school. Is someone taking care of it? Well, yeah, I would assume it's the Mono Cubs at this point. Unless it's secretly Monokuma's flower garden. Oh, -ho! you caught me! This is my favorite pastime, taking care of roses! Roses are all secretly poisonous. Now, this is the only place we haven't gone into. This was the dormitory from what I saw on the outside of it. The building is round and has a lot of smaller rooms inside. Oh, Very there's nice the maid. Oh, gosh, it's the dab bears again. Hey, bears. Very nice to see you again. Why, hello, bear. We're intruding. Sorry to intrude. Jeez. What is it this time? And what do you mean by intruding? The hell you saying? Because this is your home, you bastards. <laughs> we finished setting up the shower. Now I can go pee. God, no, it's a gender slider tongue. That must be horrible for them. They can only have it come out of the one side of the mouth after all. Hey. Hey, don't they just use the toilets? Or why don't they? Oh, even for we're number two. Ah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You shit in the shower, buddy? Wait, do you go number two in the shower? Oh, ew, that's gross. I agree. What the hell, Mono Kid? <laughs> yeah, get out of here. Um, I don't want you pooping in my shower. What do you what do you mean our home? Could it be You mean for us to live here? See there are sixteen doors. Perhaps a room for each of us. Stop it. Well, at least they give you privacy. I don't plan on staying here long enough. I need to need a room. Okay, Eddie. If only it were that simple. We we'll go sneak into Ryuma's room. Nope, nope, nope. What about your room, Kayeda? Will we go in there? No, oh, no, no. She's insisting. She's stubborn to the end. I fail to see their objective. What do you mean? How? If they are holding us for a ransom, a large facility such as this would be unnecessary. Furthermore, I gather they would rather care for us than hurt us. Hmm. In light of this, I fail to see the true objective of the culprits responsible for kidnapping us. Culprits, huh? I never even thought about that. Why would our kidnappers go to all this trouble? Sixteen ultimate students have been gathered here, but why? What's the reason? Excuse me. Pardon me, I have not introduced myself yet. I am Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. Please let me know if you require my service. Oh gosh, my face just turned into a grimace. I recognize that voice. It was Miss Squish Squish herself in the last game. Rumi, please be a nice, nice person. I'm not evil. I see. Well, you know what? She doesn't have this, that hairstyle, you know? That means she can't be evil. The Hiyoko hairstyle. Gosh. Anyways, whoa, the ultimate maid sounds like a really cool talent. What, like Roberta from Black Lagoon? Oh, that was one scary maid. Oh, wait, I've heard of Kurumi Tojo. If I remember correctly, an ultimate of incredible intellect and strength working as a private maid. I heard that her work is so perfect, she can complete any request given oh. to her. What? She's that amazing? Do not agree. Oh my gosh, she's definitely Roberta. Please, you are exaggerating. I will not complete any request that is asked of me. I once received a request to annihilate a revival nation, but it was impossible. I rejected it. But being requested to do that on its own is pretty impressive. That's true. 
I've heard of that she was hired as a bodyguard for seven foreign dignitaries. I do not agree. I have been employed as a maid, not as a bodyguard. I see. But you've been hired by so many important people. You're like a super maid. They are. Moving on. What do you intend to do now? Hmm. Th that's a tough question. Um, what should we do? Um, what would you do, Kurumi? I do not agree. I hold no opinions or desires of which to speak. I am a maid. As a maid, my only desire is to fulfill the desires of others. So please think what you desire for yourself and what is what you desire for me. For everyone. No matter situation, no matter what happens, I am here to serve everyone. Oh, can she take out the trash? No, take out her bottom to your wife to get rid of them for us then? Even in this situation, she's more concerned for others. Well, she is the ultimate maid after all. No, just give her a garbage bag. Oh, take care of Tenko. Get rid of her. You know what to do. Take out the trash. Oh, that's so bad. Ding dong, bing bong. Huh? Dong, bing bong. Bells mean bad things in Danganronpa games. What was that bell? <gasps> Patty, look. The monitor. Thanks for being. You bastards! Kept you bastards waiting, huh? All right! Everyone make your way to the gym, please. <gasps> the opening ceremony can finally begin! Yeah! Phew, we finally finished our preparation. Hey. You do realize you just read your lines backwards, don't you? So long, farewell! God damn it. That's a common, common, common thing. Anyways, gym opening ceremony. Hey. Kaede, what should we do? Um, what should we do? Go, of course. Everyone else is probably doing the same thing. True, right. but I'm a little worried about this. Well, I'm a little worried. I'm very worried. Thank you, Hermolog. You have pegged my feelings right on the head. Last time, we gathered at a gym. Oh, actually, there, there was two times. The first time, we met a demonic crazy bear. The second one, we got teleported to a tropical paradise. Oh, that was in the classroom. We didn't meet in the gym that time. Anyways, bad, bad things happen in gyms. That's all you need to know. There's a gym over this way? I think it was over this way, if I remember right. I kind of ran through the area so fast. Especially with those freaking mono beasts chasing us. What's even worse is they each have an individual pilot. Oh, gosh. Yeah, here's the gem. Do you agree? All 16 of us have gathered. Mm. Huh. It's pretty spectacular seeing all 16 of us ultimates gathered here together. <laughs> you may not be able to go be so easygoing for much longer. Uh -huh. Situation, it's no use thinking about things, so eventually Samuki stopped thinking. <sighs> What's gonna happen to us? I bet it'll be a big pain. Hmm. Huh. What? What, what are you th looking at? Himiko. I'm a Himiko! You can use amazing powers, right? Because you're a psychic and stuff. Only once per day, and if she does, everything will be gone. It's magic. I'm not a psychic, I'm a maid. <laughs> Whoa, that's amazing! I definitely want to incorporate that into Neo Akito! Hiya! Hey, what sort of training do you undergo to gain your awesome powers? <sighs> Talking about it is too tiring. <sighs> You're pretty lazy. Please wait. Pardon me, but we need to be on our guard. We do not know if and when danger will strike. Please don't. D don't say that. I I'm so scared, I don't know what to do. Hold me, It'll robot. Be okay. There is no need to worry. A 2 0 will protect us. Thank goodness. Ew, that's a relief. Fucking moron! Is your brain full of weeds or something? I'll whack him out of that skull of yours. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just leave it to me. Leave it to me! If those teddy bears show themselves again, I'll kick all their asses. Don't you wonder... Huh? What the? What's wrong? Hmm. What's wrong, big man? See? Listen. Hear that? Huh? I think I hear it. It sounds like an engine from a robot anime. Oh gosh, it's the exhaust. Again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
show off your big Gundam robots. What I think, shouldn't uh, Kokichi be like orgasm over these things? He loves robots. Everyone! Everyone behind Gwanta. Oh, what the heck are these monsters? Wow, wow so cool. <laughs> I called it. I called it. He's just like, robots, yeah. Hell yeah! Axos! Highly mobile, both battle be battle weapon platforms. They got lots of horror bound pride too. What are you saying? I can't keep track of these backstories. <laughs> Whatever they are, they better kill off the uggos and save me for that. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. You want to die still? Run, Himiko! Are you concerned about me all of a sudden? By the way. Hmm. Didn't someone say they would kick all their asses? Oh! What the hell? Nobody told me about these! It's okay. Alright, chill out. No need to panic, guys. We're probably not in danger. If they wanted to kill us, they would have done it already. Thank you, Rantaro. <laughs> I knew that's what he was going to say. See, I am now a psychic. If they wanted to kill us, they'd have done it by now. With that, Rantaro casually walked up to the Exiles. Man. So, what do you want from us? You clearly want something. That's what the guns are for, right? Let me guess, you're gonna force us to do something and if we don't, we get hurt. That means... Well, you have our attention, so what do you want? And that's that. Huh, well, aren't you a wise guy? Hey! I'll start us off. Listen up, here's what we want your punk asses to do. <laughs> oh, bot's going like 100 miles per hour. You wanna say it? I'm gonna say it, you ready? Hell yeah, it's a- It's a killing game. Yeah, model dumb. Ding, ding, ding. That's the first line we've heard all game. That's fantastic. And he interrupted the a-hole model kid, too. Huh? What? Hey! Oh, oh, model damn! How dare you upstage me! Huh? W wait a second. What did you say? Hmm. Have I heard them correctly? It's a killing game. Oh, he said it again. <laughs> oh! God damn, model damn! I'm gonna give it to you in a minute here. I'm gonna crush you up this here exo. Oh, come on. We don't have time to fight amongst ourselves. Okay. Yeah, if you don't stop fighting, it's I'm gonna crush you with this here exo. Oh. You too, Monotaro. Give it to me. If this is what it's come to, then I will crush the four of you this here exo. What are you saying? Hey, why are you including me? Oh well. Oh well, it's more appropriate for us to be hostile towards each other. Oh gosh. You wanna go, Jabroni? Jabroni? What? Who are you calling Jabroni? Jabroni! Oh, I love this. It's so good. I haven't heard that word in forever. What'd you say, Jabroni? I'll go down anytime, Jabroni! Check yourself before you wreck yourself! Monofanny's best bear. Monofanny is best bear. I'm calling it right now. Get him, Monofanny! Seriously? Are they gonna get it on right in front of us? Don't worry, Atua is watching over us. I don't think I trust your false god, Angie. In a situation like this, is he just going to watch? Either way, it's too dangerous. We need to get out of here, or else... Now, now, now. It's me! What? My cute little cubs. You gotta knock off this awful <laughs> fighting. <gasps> oh, they brought the voice actor back from Otakuma. I'm so happy. People talk mad shit about him, but he's my fave. Father! Father, father, is that you? Papakuma! 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 Daddy! Daddy, where are you, Daddy? Huh? The Daddy? At that moment, the lights in the gymnasium suddenly shut off. Oh my gosh! Our Lord and Savior Monokuma has appeared! <laughs> I am the god of this new world! Oh my god! That was a perfect entrance right there. And the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy! The one! The only! Monokuma! Nice to meet ya! Yay! 
father's here. Hell yeah! Hell yeah, yeah. another epic entrance from Baba Goomba. Hell yeah. That is so cool. Oh gosh, he got it on. He got it on with Monami, didn't he? That's the only thing that makes sense for Mono Fanny to pop out. Hey. My little cubs. My cute little cubs. You're all so freaking cute. The only reason I can tolerate your tiresome antics is because you're all so cute. You're so cute. Even when the prologue is going on too long, I'll allow it because you guys are cute. Yeah. In fact, the very prologue ever was. <laughs> this very first prologue ever was only short because you cute little potatoes weren't there. Pops! Pops, are you mad at us? Don't be stupid. Don't be an idiot. I never get mad at my cute little cubs. <laughs> Ow, he is my head. My daddy is still cool even when he's angry bringing the smack down. That's right. Pops is from a planet of handsome bears that gets cooler as they get angrier. <laughs> was that a Saiyan it's reference? It's interesting. Oh my gosh, it was. Super Monokuma, Super Monokuma 2, Super Monokuma 3, and finally Super Monokuma 4. Do I gotta say it? I'm not mad! Is there a Kamehameha in coming? Ah, father just transformed into a Super Monokuma God Super Monokuma! Oh god, that, that, that was... Wow. Wow, I'm so happy that they're referencing all this. You got a Toriyama power-up. That's only possible when six Monokumas of pure heart are gathered together. For fuck's sakes, they ripped that right out of the anime. It's the power you bust out when you really want to fuck the world shit up! A power you only see when the gods themselves do battle. Yes, I am a god! Ah! Oh, anyway. I'm so happy. That was fantastic. Anyways, I'm not really mad. In fact, I gotta admit that I'm actually proud of you guys. You kids really stood out for the rest of the second generation failures in the world. No way! It's he talking about his, uh, rapping offspring. Isn't that a little harsh? I'm sure there were some second generation success stories. Yeah, but I can't think of any, though. What's a one? If you can't think of any, it's because there's none worth remembering. But Father remembers because he knows everything. Holy shit! That's right, Papa Kuma! You know all kinds of useless crap! Cause Daddy gets all his alternate facts from the most trusted names in fake news! No! Things are getting political. We're not bringing Trump into this. Phew! <sighs> ah, ah, I love embracing my children! They're so cute! I just can't help myself! You're already ready to go plummet when mascots appear in the sequels too much! <laughs> But in this case, ratings are through the roof. All thanks to super cute Mono Cubs. Uh, what is this? What's going on? Another teddy bear has appeared. No. Yes, but this is no ordinary teddy bear. I can see it. But it's bad madness swirling around that cursed thing. You're really bugging Whoa. me. Whoa! First of all, no teddy bear. I'm Monokuma. Ah. And show some respect. I'm the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. Huh? Headmaster. Hmm? It appears to be some sort of autonomous robot for built-in AI like me. Dong dong dong. Dong dong dong. Yeah, but the XLs are different though. They're brainless buckets of bolts. That's right. They're mindless, pretty killing machines that can only be controlled by us, the minor cops. Sheesh. Autonomous robots piloting weapon platforms. This is certainly turning into quite the story. Mm. You said it, Ryoma. Well. That may be, but when I'm worried, or I'm worried about this killing game you mentioned, what exactly does that mean? <laughs> boop, 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 boop. How? What is so amusing? <laughs> it's just when I said it before, I kind of just phoned it in and now I, I feel awkward. Extreme! Watch your students with your ultimate level talents to participate in a killing game. Huh? Killing game? Us? Please stop! Please stop joking. Why we agree to participate in a killing game? Huh? Uh, guys don't want to do it. Go to never do that. Of course not. Join gentlemen, not hurt people. And another thing. But if you looked around the academy, you already know, don't you? The academy is surrounded by a huge wall. You can't escape to the outside world. As long as we have the exiles, you can defy us. In other words, all the power of life and death over each and every one of you. So unsure. 
So what you're saying is we don't want to die. You've got to be kidding me! Why would friends kill each other? But Tenko, have us are degenerate males. Who said you guys were friends? No way! You guys aren't friends at all. <laughs> we're enemies out to kill each other. Huh? Enemies? We're enemies. Hmm. I still have a lot to learn from fathers about sarcasm. All this talking is bogging the shit out of me. I'm gonna be a model damn to relieve the stress. Oh, babe. But I don't like that. I'm not good with violence or gore or sad situations. I'm Daddy. Instead of a killing game, we do a rock, paper, scissors tournament. You stupid. Yes. And the galaxy that loses will have their world erased. Who'd want to play a, a game where no one dies? Hmm. Oh, you do have a uh, compassionate personality. It's so cute. I can barely stand it. Yeah, so. Why, it's good enough to eat. Good enough that I don't want to eat it. Hmm? Huh? Hey. Hey, Mata Fanny, you might want to dial back the cute shtick a bit. Uh... Hey. Cool it with the stupid banter. I want to ask you something. <laughs> Are we supposed to kill each other? Are you going to give us weapons? You? What the hell, man? What are you asking? We need to get info from them first. We can't do anything if we don't know anything. No way! Weapons, huh? What kind of prepared display are you envisioning? There wouldn't be war wrong. By the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles, the killing game is quite the refined, sophisticated experience. What? Sophisticated experience? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sure, the killing game is punctuated by Clash Trials. Uh, class trials? Okie dokie! Oh, we remember these things well. They just get better with the game. New okay, games. So if one of you maggots kills someone, you all gotta take part in a class trial. The class trial is where the blackened killer faces off against their spotless classmates. It's where you punk ass bitches argue over who you fucking think the blackened is. After that, it's voting time! And if the majority of you idiots vote correctly... Then only the Blackened Killer will receive p, -p punishment <clears throat> So girl, just imagining all the blood and gore makes me want to puke! After the Blackened is punished, the rest of you will just keep right on living together. But if you vote for the wrong person during the class trial, the Blackened gets off scot-free and all the spotless students get punished instead. Beep. Hell yeah! Them's the rules of the class trial! Woo-hoo-hoo! Ah! Yeah! <laughs> oh, don't remind me. It gets me a good one. It gets my rocks off. Mm. Ah, too much! The explanation, re the explanation revealed too much! You want to be more coy? Flirtious? Seductive, just like your old man? Gross. Hey, um. <laughs> Mimiko, that was perfect. The point is, it's not enough to kill someone. You also have to survive a glass trial. Gosh, put this. Killing without being caught and then survive the trial sounds eerily similar to the real world. Unbuilt. You think so? And the outside world must be masterfully designed, even at its cruelest. Listen. One can only imagine. Er oh gosh, I got I lost his voice there for a second. One can only, er, one can likely imagine. But I shall ask, just in case, what is the punishment you mentioned earlier? Yeah. So wait, what is an execution? Huh? Execution? If you do a crime, you get punished for it. That's like the most basic rule of society. But this is a killing game. So the punishment for murder is a bit more permanent. Yes, yes, like the electric chair. Hell yeah! Ow! I wonder what kind of punishment that'll be. Lots of blood and guts and brains! I bet. That kind of stuff gives me a raging boner. Hell yeah! Yeah? What? Mono Kid, you already have a boner? Got a rock hard yeah, I got a rock hard rage. I'm so hot right now. Oh, blood, guts, brains, and boners. No! Oh, he puked something that's pink. Ah, man. Whoa, what a funny just puked. Oh, I'm so freaking odd. Yeah. Huh? 
Puke gives you boners too, you weirdo. <laughs> you kids are just so adorable. What? What the hell's the cute about that? Well now. All right, I'm over all this boring exposition. Thrills, Let's get this hard part until the school semester started already. You have free reign to murder however you like too. Like bludgeoning or stabbing. Feeling cheap? Try strangulation. Feeling lazy? Try poisoning. God damn it. I, I just lost it at the feeling cheap one. Whether you shoot, burn, drown, blow up, crash, electrocute, or laugh your victim to death. Oh god, not laughing gas. That's the most despair inducing thing in the world. You can use any method you like to kill anybody you like, any way you like. So they can choke on a baguette? At the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles, you will realize your murderous potential. 16 talented teenage prodigies, all competing for first place in a killing game. There's no better setting for an event like this than the Ultimate Academy. You got me. Killing school semester. It's like a game. <laughs> Risking our lives for some silly game is absurd. But... It doesn't seem like it'll be barring, though. How can you degenerates be so calm? It, it can't be. This, this has to be a lie, right? It's a lie, right? No, I wish it was a lie. More fiction. Like a story on TV. A scenario so removed from reality. I can hardly believe it's happening. It's no use. I don't want to be in a killing game. Wrong. I'd never do that. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Well, if you don't want to participate in the killing game, that's going to be a problem. If the killing game is the only reason you're here. Huh? What? Now then. Now then, unleash your talents. Have a happy, homicidal, horrific, hilarious killing game. Oh, jeez. Wait just a minute, oh. mister. Hmm? Stop it. No matter what you say, we won't do it. What's wrong with you? That's wrong. We'll never participate in a killing game. I'll do it. Whatever you have planned, I'm not going to let you get away with it. Um... Kayere, you shouldn't just rashly defy that thing. That's No, no, nice. no, all of our resistance. That kind of defiant spirit is, the import or is important to the killing game. It's fun to watch the divine ones eventually snap and get their hands dirty. <sighs> what do you mean by that? I love it. Everyone loves that kind of brutality. In a death game, especially me. It never gets old and so fun and entertaining. I just get an unbearably pumped up. Oh, plus, as the headmaster, it's my job to force you to do it. No matter what you say. <laughs> oh, dear God. We stood in dumbfounded silence, surrounded by the squealing laughter of Monokuma and his cubs. Everything about this situation was so fucked up. An academy surrounded by a giant wall, 16 ultimate students trapped inside. Mysterious stuffed bears and deadly weapons, and new friends forced to play some killing game. It all felt like something out of a sadistic work of fiction. A sadistic story no different from reality itself. Again to my will, I was now a character in that story. Oh, I love that little introduction. That was actually fantastic. Oh, and here's the intro. Took it long enough. Jesus. I think that was like a two hour intro. Two, two and a half. Yeah, about two hours, I think. Took us to go through the whole beginning prologue. I've seen longer prologues, though. Have you played Persona 4? My response would be, Okay, Mr. Tortoise. Yes, that's a long, long prologue. Oh, this is still epic, though. Every time this beat comes on, I just want to start grooving. There's our playboy crazy boy. Oh, I love that little section of Monokuma and his little martini. Seriously though, character-wise, I'm really liking Maki. And Himiko, I like Himiko and Maki. And don't get me started on Gonta. No, he's he's probably my man crush next to Kaito. Kaito's pretty good too.
Hmm. You know what? This song would go good with the dang, uh, the Cowboy Bebop opening. Do, 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 Ugh, so good. Ultimate Revival! The end! Finally, we're done the prologue. A new your new or tamed present ultimate academy for gifted juveniles badge that's good to know now do you want to save we do anyhow meisters as always if you did enjoy the video please do leave a like to show your support it does help the channel out and as always feel free to leave a comment just keep them spoiler free as i mentioned in the comment section i want to make sure we avoid spoilers this time around if you have played the game before or know what's happening please do not confirm anyone's speculations because that is spoiling it for them as well because there's a lot of people that are watching this blind along with me playing it as well with the other games. So please do keep that in mind when you're making a comment. And if you have yet to subscribe to the channel, please do so now and join the Academy for more videos just like this one in the future.